Parisians are divided about the ongoing restrictions on their lives. After more than eight weeks of confinement, many are eager to venture from their houses and enjoy the renewed sense of freedom. Others say it's too soon and just not safe. Well, the French capital is still within the so-called red zone in France, where restrictions on liberties remain in force, as Cyril Fourneris reports. Is Paris still Paris without cafes, museums and theatres? Where is the movable feast described by Hemingway? It has moved to sidewalks and river borders. The Canal Saint-Martin is one of the places where people were gathering. It has now been largely cleared. Alcohol is now forbidden here. As you can see behind me, people are still gathering, but in small groups and respecting social distancing. Many French said these gatherings were irresponsible, but they don't agree. We were not all confined the same way. It's easier when you have a barbecue, a pool or a garden. I don't think we can be mad at Parisians for wanting to go out 55 days stranded in their tiny apartments. We're trying to stay safe. We're lucky we can have fun, just drinking cola and smoking with my friend after all this time. The police are here to ensure there aren't any groups of more than 10 people, but some residents of this neighboring avenue are worried. Many people have gathered there, despite a police operation less than an hour ago. They came here and the people left. But as you can see for yourself, they came back. It's nice that they intervene, but if it's only once a day, the people just come back 15 minutes later. One of the main problems for Parisians is that parks are still closed as it is a red zone. The government refuses to let them open despite many calls by the Paris mayor who says it's a matter of public health. We talked to the Paris deputy mayor. Physical health is very important, but mental health is important as well. With open markets, with open shops. But we can't open what is important to everyone, which is nature, especially after these two months that were extremely difficult. Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo has also called for face masks to be made obligatory throughout the city, as it was done in the southern city of Nice. But for the moment in Paris, it is only the case in public transports. Like here in Paris, other mayors across Europe are challenging national policies. London Mayor Sadiq Khan, for example, said he was against the idea of the English Premier League resuming in his city next month. Euronews, Cyril Forneris, Paris.